Here at Beacon Headquarters in Waukegan, Illinois, we are going to show you how to properly install the Beacon Pro Act 200 sump pump test and monitoring system. Everything you need to install the Pro Act 200, except for the copper water line and water supply connection valve, is included in the box along with a detailed instruction guide. Now, and this is important, the first thing you will need to do is locate a source of fresh water. You will need to connect a length of copper tubing to the fresh water source using an appropriate shutoff valve. Do not use a spanner valve, as this is against code. You will need to connect the other end of the 3 8 inch copper tubing to the water shutoff valve supplied with the installation kit. Next, mount the controller using the supplied mounting hardware. It can be mounted to the wall or directly to the discharge pipe. Remember, do not install the internal controller battery or connect the controller to an AC outlet at this time. Next, mount the valve module on the discharge pipe at a convenient height. It's important that you mount the module upright to ensure that water flows straight down into the sump pit. The module has a built-in air gap for backflow prevention. Use the supplied connector cable to connect the valve module to the controller. Mount the water level sensor inside the sump pit, below the lowest drain inlet pipe and above any other float switch in the pit, and connect the attached cable to the valve module. Be sure the freshwater shutoff valve is closed at this time. Using the short water supply line, connect the freshwater shutoff valve to the valve module. You will notice at this time, all the components are supplied except the copper tubing. As you can see, we installed our copper water supply line earlier. After all connections are made, confirm that the shutoff valve is open. Cut the supplied hose to the appropriate length. Connect one end of the hose to the valve module and position the other end inside the sump pit. You may have to drill an additional hole in your sump pit cover. Install the hose so that the water flows straight down and avoid pointing it directly at any float switches or drain inlets in the pit. Next, if your installation includes a battery backup pump, simply clamp the current sensor around one of the cables leading to or from the battery inside the battery compartment. In some installations, the backup battery will be indirectly connected to the DC backup pump through a separate charger module. In these installations, clamp the current sensor to the wire connecting the battery to the charger module. Next, connect the sensor's red wire to the positive battery terminal and the black wire to the negative battery terminal. Use the supplied connector cable to connect the sensor to the controller. Now is a good time to confirm that little or no water is draining into the sump pit. If there is, you may need to temporarily plug the drain inlets. Now plug the AC sump pump into the wall outlet. In the event excess water is in the pit, manually activate the primary AC sump pump float switch to pump any residual water from the pit. Unplug the AC sump pump from the AC wall outlet. Now. Connect the cable attached to the internal beacon battery to the connector on the right side of the compartment. Continue to leave the door open during setup. Plug the controller power cord into the AC wall outlet. Plug the primary AC sump pump power cord and the DC backup charger into the controller. The sump pump installation is now fully powered. Note that the controller powers up in standby mode with both pump status lights off. Now you are ready to set up the controller and calibrate the system. First, select the operating mode of controller that is appropriate for the sump pump installation. If you have a single pump installation, select the single pump mode by pressing the red mode select button in the battery compartment once. If you have a dual sump pump installation with a battery backup pump like this installation, select the dual pump mode by pressing the mode select button one more time. Now, if you plug the drain water inlet earlier, confirm the plug is still in place and little to no drain water is flowing into the pit. To initiate the automatic calibration cycle, press the test button on the controller front panel. This will adjust the controller test cycle to the specific sump pump installation. During the calibration cycle, the valve module opens to admit fresh water into the pit until the primary pump float switch is triggered and the pump operates to pump water from the pit. During the calibration of the primary pump, the corresponding status indicator light flashes amber and will turn to steady green when the calibration is successful. In dual pump mode, the controller repeats the calibration cycle for the backup pump. The backup pump status light flashes amber and changes to steady green when the calibration is successful. An automatic test will now occur every seven days from the time the calibration cycle was successfully completed. However, the automatic test cycle start time can be manually reset at any time by pressing the test cycle reset button. Remove any plugs from the drain water inlets and close the sump pit cover. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the ProAct 200 installation. You should now initiate a manual test by pressing the test button. Finally, please note that the ProAct 200 is Wi-Fi enabled to allow for remote monitoring and testing of the sump pump installation. 
please direct the homeowner to the Wi-Fi setup guide that comes in the box or is available at sumptest.com. Homeowners can register the ProAct 200 at sumptest.com to initiate remote monitoring.